بنقلق البرة شاوية اليوم يا عيال طبك يا خلنا نبقي خلاص upper and lower limb so we start from here to start with upper limb with upper limb هذا ليش المشكلة؟ السير العادي. These are the cords of brachial plexus. You can see relations with the cords of brachial plexus. Mm. This axillary artery here, its name becomes brachial artery. My head, doctor. This is brachial artery. <coughs> this is brachial artery. How do you know, doctor? How do you know? Mm. Because the axillary artery is in the axilla mm. and brachial artery is in the arm. Mm. It changes its name at the lower border brachial. of teres major. Yes. So here is the axillary artery. Brachial. Here is the brachial artery. Mm. And the brachial artery that enters in the cubital fossa mm. here. From two terminal. And here at the neck of the radius. Uh -huh. It's good. Two terminal. terminal. It divides two into terminal. the lateral one that is the radial, radial artery and, uh, and medial one ulnar. that is ulnar okay. artery. So this is radial artery and here is the ulnar artery. Radial artery Deeper on the mark. lateral side. Deep Balmer arch. Of the front of the forearm and ulnar artery on the medial side of front of forearm. This radial artery in the palm, it will form deep palmar arch and ulnar artery in the palm, it will form superficial palmar arch. So we have these arteries, we can see in the upper limb. Again, here is axillary artery. Here is the brachial artery. This we have this radial artery and ulnar artery. And this is theoretically, you know, where and how they begins and ends and name of the branches and important relations, you know all. So arteries of the upper limb, class. Okay. Here you can see on the medial side of the artery, there is a lumen and thin wall. This is. This is vein. Vein? Vein. Now we come arteries of the lower limb. Doctor, the axillary vein Veins. is medial uh, to the artery, right? Yes. yes. How can I see it from here? Axillary vein. Nice. What is the axillary vein? No, no. This is. <laughs> Again, the same. We have axillary artery here, and here is the brachial artery. This is the brachial artery, okay. axillary and brachial. And here, really, and another are not clear on this in this model. Where is it? No, you cannot see in this model. Okay. Now, arteries are the lower limb. Veins, doctor. Superficial veins. Medial to artery. No, which artery is this? External. This is external iliac artery. External iliac artery or external iliac artery. Okay. And here is inguinal ligament. And here this artery becomes femoral artery. This is femoral artery. You can see. Mm. Yes, femoral artery is the continuation of external iliac artery behind the midpoint of inguinal ligament. Here you can see the relations of the femoral artery. On its medial side is femoral vein, and on its lateral side is femoral nerve. Its upper four centimeter is enclosed in femoral sheath. And upper half is, this is femoral triangle. Mm. Because this is sartorius and this is adductor longus. So where is the femoral? Femoral, oh. what femoral artery? Femoral artery is this. 
<coughs> this is femoral artery. It is continuation of external area. Okay, this is femoral artery, and femoral artery here, this muscle is adductor magnus muscle. It piercing the adductor magnus muscle, passes through an opening in the adductor magnus muscle, and here it changes its name as popliteal artery. This is popliteal artery, the same. This artery, yes. This is which artery? Femoral artery. Here it is in the adductor canal. Here in the femoral triangle, and here in femoral sheath. This popliteal artery ends by dividing into anterior tibial and posterior tibial arteries. Where it divides? This. Which muscle is this? This muscle is popliteus muscle. Popliteus muscle. No, no, this is not popliteus. Sorry, this is not popliteus. Popliteus is this. This is popliteus. Sorry. This muscle is popliteus. This muscle is posterior. Popliteus. Okay. At the lower part of popliteus, this artery ends by dividing into posterior tibial artery and anterior tibial artery. Here you can see. Posterior tibial artery is this. Anterior. No, this is tendon. Posterior. This is flexor retinaculum of the ankle joint. Mm. You know flexor retinaculum yeah. between medial medullus and calcaneum. The structures passing under the flexor retinaculum were. Uh, Tom has very nice. Uh, Tom does very nice talk. Uh, Tom does very nice. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, uh, Tom has very. Two doctors are nice not here. Head. Two doctors are not here. Two <laughs> doctors <laughs> are not here. <laughs> no, no. Tom has very nice and flexor digitorum longus and posterior tibial RT and tibial nerve and flexor hallucis longus. Two doctors are not here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, okay? This is posterior tibial and... <laughs> Two doctors are not here. Uh, what about the extensor retinic? Two horses are not dancing properly. <laughs> Tom, Tom has very nice looking face. One here. Just leave one. You know, this is dorsalis pedis artery. We have this dorsalis pedis artery. This one. This one is an artery. Dorsalis pedis artery. And it is cut from here, somewhere from. This new one. Yes, lumen is there. Yes. Yes. So this is dorsalis pedis artery. Where is it? Here its name was anterior tibial and here is dorsalis pedis artery. Passes towards the cleft between first and second toe. What else? Nothing else. What about the anterior tibial? Veins. Is it okay? The anterior tibial. Coronary. 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 Just coronary. This is it. Isn't the one that is lateral? This anterior, doctor. Yes, anterior TV. This one is a tendon. This tendon? Yes, sir. Damn, what tendon? شو بتنزل هذا الوقت؟ اليوم الدكتور اليوم اليوم الدكتور. I think اليوم الدكتور. Anterior tibial artery here in the anterior compartment. In the branch. Posterior tibial artery is a larger branch. And anterior tibial artery. 
then pierces the uh, interosseous membrane and comes to the anterior. Posterior tip is larger branch, and anterior tip is smaller branch. What is tensile phase here, Doctor? What is action? Luteus maximus. What is action? Minimus. Piriformis. No, piriformis step. Hey, can I hammer like gloves? Now, doctor, the hair is what is it? Posterior tibial yes. and anterior tibial. Uh -huh. the the way way way. Oh, yeah. Posterior tibial and anterior tibial. It goes laterally, yeah, the anterior tibial. And now, heart? Heart. What is heart? No heart. Heart there. In the dissection theory. Okay, let's go. You can see. External. External leak is this. Yes. Okay. This is inguinal ligament. Yeah. And this is and the triangle. This is femoral artery. Yeah. On its medial side is femoral vein. Mm -hmm. On its lateral side is femoral nerve. Okay. This femoral artery is piercing adductor magnus here. Mm -hmm. And here it is popliteal artery. Here you can see. Okay. Popli popliteal artery is here. It's cut. This is popliteal artery. Because it's piercing this muscle, adductor magnus. Way at the junction of upper two third and lower one third of. Other arteries are not clear in this model. Okay. Finish. In this plastic model, we have this axillary artery. These are cords of brachial plexus. And here you can see this medial root, medial root of median nerve. That is causing anterior. Otherwise, the branches of the cords are on the side according to their name. According to their name. So this is brachial artery. This is brachial artery. It is entering in cubital fossa. And here it's this one. Yes. This brachial artery is dividing into these two. This is radial and this is ulnar. Radial and ulnar artery is going on the radial side and it is forming deep palmar arch. And ulnar artery is here. This is ulnar artery with which nerve? With the ulnar nerve. This ulnar artery forms the superficial palmar arch. This is superficial palmar arch. Superficial palmar arch is completed by a superficial palmar branch of radial. This is superficial palmar branch of radial artery. Okay? Deep palmar arch is not shown in this model. Uh, the ulnar gives a branch for deep? Yes. Deep branch? Yes. Oh. Doctor, no Doctor. 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 So this is the superficial branch of radial? Yes. 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 Superficial. It is going to complete the superficial palmar arch. In the back, the, uh, the anterior and posterior popliteal. Which one go lateral and medial? Lateral is radial. No, but not the hand here. Actually, the anterior and posterior. The anterior tibial artery, you know, it, it passes above. Above the interosseous membrane, or pierce the upper part of the interosseous membrane, then comes anterior and runs anterior to the interosseous membrane in the anterior compartment. But the anterior popliteal uh, goes lateral <laughs> to give the anterior tibia. Sorry, the popliteal goes lateral to give the anterior yes. tibia. Yeah. So, anterior tibial, you can say more lateral and more smaller. Uh -huh. This is uh, now blood vessels of the heart. First, we take arteries. Right. The right coronary artery and left coronary artery. They arise from the ascending aorta, coronary sinus. So this is right coronary artery emerging from right auricle and and, and pulmonary trunk. This right coronary artery, it is running in coronary sulcus or circumflex groove. 
This right coronary artery will anastomose with the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery in the coronary sulcus. Right coronary artery branches, this is right marginal artery. Right marginal artery. And one important branch is posterior interventricular artery. Posterior interventricular artery runs in the posterior interventricular group and it will anastomose with the anterior interventricular branch of the left coronary artery. But in 10% of individuals, posterior interventricular artery comes from the left coronary artery. That will say left coronary dominance. And a right coronary artery, we have branches, the conus artery, AV nodal artery, and SA nodal artery, and this right marginal artery. As a nodal artery, sometimes in 40% of individuals comes from the left coronary artery. So this is very issue. This is left coronary artery. It emerges between left auricle and pulmonary trunk, and soon it divides into anterior interventricular. In card, uh, you know, cardiologists name it at anterior descending branch, and circumflex branch. Circumflex branch runs in the left. It gives left marginal artery, and then it anastomoses with the termination of the right coronary artery. And this is inter, anti interventricular artery. It runs in the anterior interventricular groove. Yeah. She's, she's About the veins, you know, all the venous drainage of the heart drain in the right atrium of the heart in coronary sinus, anterior cardiac vein, and veni cardiac minimis. That is the basin vein. But the basin vein or veni cardiac minimis open in all the four chambers. Yeah. But the main, main venous drainage is coronary sinus. Coronary sinus runs where? in the coronary sulcus or atrioventricular groove with the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery oh, and right coronary artery. What are the tributaries? Tributaries are there are five, five tributaries. Great cardiac vein, great cardiac vein runs in the anterior interventricular groove with the anterior interventricular branch of the left coronary artery. And middle cardiac vein runs in the posterior interventricular groove with the posterior interventricular branch of the right coronary artery in 60% of the cases. And a small cardiac vein, and we have with, with the mar left marginal vein, and we have then posterior a posterior vein of the left atrium, left ventricle, and oblique vein of the left. Here, oblique vein of left atrium is not shown in this diagram. But posterior vein of left, it must be somewhere here. It's not sure. This but the important the veins are this is coronary sinus, this is middle. And the, no, great cardiac great vein, great. this is middle, middle cardiac vein, and, and this is the small cardiac vein, and this may be this may be posterior vein of left ventricle. Mm -hmm. So sinus. this is coronary sinus. This is coronary sinus. It's the right marginal, left left marginal. Left marginal vein. The small Ar artery. Yes, yes. There no left mar left marginal okay. artery is this. This is left marginal. Yeah. Left marginal artery is a branch of. Is it branch of a circumflex? Circumflex. Yes. Mm -hmm. Branch of the circumflex. A branch of the. Um, S circumflex and branch is of the anti interventricular. Anti interventricular arteries gives the ar ventricular branches one of the diagonal artery, and circumflex branch gives the sometimes uh, AV nodal uh, uh, S nodal artery, also gives the conus artery, also gives the left marginal artery, also gives the ventricular branches, also gives the atrial branches. You know, all of this opening. Which opening? This, this, this opening is for this, for, for a stand. No, for a stand. No, no, no. no. The opening no, of coronary sinus. Coronary sinus. Into this, the, this. Into, no, 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 not this one. Here. Here. Coronary Inside. sinus opening you can see here. Okay, well, what is it called? What's its name? Opening of coronary sinus. Opening of coronary sinus? It's guilty. Yes, it is here. Where is the doctor? Here, the best mechanic. Yes. Oh. yes. Uh, this uh, fossa ovale is coronary sinus, limbus fossa yeah. ovale, and this is inferior. No, th this is this is tricuspid. This is inferior vena cava, this is superior vena cava, and this is tricuspid. Right. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, doctor. This is about the identification, not theoretical questions, theory. Any questions? There is no soft tissue for the coronary artery. Can do it.
ليش لا؟ لا هذا اللي نشوفه من هذا اللي صور ايش؟ صور باثولوجي خرجت انت اصلا نو بيبرتي يقول ما في كادي برا هارت عبد الودود فروم هير عبد الودود Or the right coronary artery, anterior interventricular branch of left coronary artery, circumflex branch of left coronary artery, and posterior interventricular branch of right coronary artery. In veins, coronary sinus, anterior cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, and small vein. Is there any cadaveric model of blood vessel of the heart? And and also a plasinated if blood coronary artery. And and in the arteries of the limbs. Yes, one thing more important, you know, sometimes sometimes great saphenous vein is asked. What? In hospice, sometimes great saphenous vein is asked. So no, it's not here. Yeah. Sometimes the small can be asked. It's usually removed. Sometimes. So arteries. What is the arteries? In lower limb, we have femoral artery. Is a branch of external iliac. External iliac is a branch of the common iliac. Is a branch of the common iliac. This is not conus artery. I am asking you, where is the conus artery? I cannot see. This, this maybe one of these, but we cannot see. Okay. So this we have these arteries, and uh, we have done all the arteries of the body. Yeah. We have done all the arteries. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Abdominal artery in the abdomen is only abdominal aorta. You know, abdominal aorta begins at the level of. Can I go to the wall? You have one paper. One paper. What's The first second attendant. Then, by then. First second attendant. Can you go to the wall? You go here to the abdomen. First second attendant. No. بخلف ورقي ذي فاضي عندك الله يسلمك اوكي هيز ا بيبر واحد خلاص ها كيف لا 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 خلي خليك على واحد الله يرضى عليك يس السمول كاروت هذا سمول كاروت صح 27 سمول كاروت فين ذي اسمع الله في التركيب سمول سمول كارت the most important here is coronary sinus. For example, coronary sinus is very important in veins. Remember, if any vein in heart is asked, that is coronary sinus. We have this coronary sinus. This is coronary sinus. This is coronary sinus. Okay. And we have this middle cardiac vein and posterior interventricular artery. Posterior interventricular artery and middle cardiac vein. And we have anterior. This is anterior interventricular artery and great cardiac vein. 
Right. Others are not clear in this. Marginal. This is marginal left. Can this is left marginal artery. This is branch from the circumference. Again. This is very clear in this plastinated model. We have coronary sinus. Okay. And here we have anterior cardiac vein, anterior cardiac, anterior interventricular artery, and this is great cardiac vein. Here we have posterior interventricular artery and small cardiac vein. Middle. Middle cardiac vein. And this is posterior vein of left ventricle. And this is and this may be a small cardiac vein. And this is left marginal artery. Only this is clear. Opening of what? Coronary sinus opens. In the right atrium. Coronary sinus opens in the right atrium. Yes, sir. You know, opening in the right atrium, outflow tract is right atrioventricular orifice and inflow tract is superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and coronary sinus is anterior cardiac vena cava. The opening between the tricuspid and the vena cava. Yes. This is. This is right coronary artery. Okay. This is right coronary artery. And here we have interventricular branch of the left coronary, anti interventricular branch. And left. This is. This is left. This is anterior aspect, okay? Yes. No. So, this one, yes. So, this one is an interventricular. This one is an anterior interventricular. This one, this one. Yes. No. Anterior interventricular is, you know, big branch, main branch. It's not so small. It's not so small. This may be ventricular branches. Ventricular branches. And this is left margin. Maybe he doesn't have any. موهيشينه <laughs> 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 Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much